Boris Johnson is currently the third most popular politician in the UK, more popular than Andy Burnham, more popular than Sir Kistama, more popular than Rishi Sunak, who's actually in the, the 20s uh, of most popular, so he's not very close. What do you think of this? Well, don't forget he had a landslide victory. The members of the party voted him in to be the member. Rishi wasn't voted in by the, by the membership to become the Prime Minister. You've got all them arguments in the background. So it doesn't surprise me that Boris is the third popular. Who's the most popular? Nigel Farage or someone like he's that? He's probably, yeah, I don't recall, <laughs> but he's probably, uh, he's probably well, the top five. Nigel's I mean, that's, definitely in the top yeah, five. That's yeah, that's another dic- uh, ridiculous. And Jeremy Corbyn's probably up there as well. You think so? Yeah, he, for a while he was the top. For the past like, couple of months, well, it depends where you're getting your data from. Yeah, uh, YouGov. Oh, well, there you go. I do not like <laughs> you just proves me point. <laughs> why, why is that? Well, well, it's a very left-leaning. The question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you analyse the questions on YouGov, yeah. it's very left-leaning. So what? What's it, your polling place that you going to? Well, there's various different polling places that we see. It depends on what data you want, really. Because data so is a very... So whichever data you want, you go to their place, say... <laughs> well, it depends what... <laughs> that gives you the answer you want. <laughs> look, journalists do it all over the world when they want to prove a point. Yeah, I well, always Listen, I always use YouGov no matter what. So for YouGov, I'm going to ask you this. I mean, saying that it probably is very realistically going to be around that. You might say it's five, ten, five six, seven points off. Yeah. But it's going to be around there. So it don't, Boris Johnson's definitely up there. Jeremy Corbyn's definitely up there. So I think Jeremy Corbyn's around 30 points. So he's definitely in the, in the well, top. Well, have you ever analysed how they ask the questions at YouGov? I've criticised them many times at uh, the way they do this. So it might be, for instance, how much do you hate Boris Johnson? A lot, a little, or hardly any? You know, that's hardly a choice. It's like, do you like Boris Johnson or do you dislike Boris Johnson? They don't do that. It's definitely loaded in to one, one way, the question on, on, on them. And that's just a little example of how YouGov... Do that question. So, I mean, uh, saying saying Boris Johnson probably is one of the most popular politicians. What's I mean, you mentioned because he did have the popular vote, and a lot of people did like him. Absolutely. Well, Boris, uh, I mean, Boris, the character and the person, uh, very charismatic, and you know, after listening to him perform in a room, it, it lifted everyone. So he took everyone on this journey. And he always used to say, uh, I mean, because I've spoke to him about the mayoral sh- ship in Manchester and how we're never going to do it and why don't you just ditch the idea of having mayors. And he sort of like uh, growled at me in a way and said, you've got to take it to the people. It's for you to do that, not just sit there and say, oh, we're never going to win a thing. And that's what he did in London. He took it to the people. So I understand where he's coming from. But it's a very, and you know, we're not whoever's going to be mayor of Manchester or go for it on our side... They're not going to be like, we're not going to get a Boris Johnson. So does this signify that he's really one of the most popular politicians? Does that signify anything? Well, you get these characters in history from time to time that have the ability to take people on a journey with them. And he's got that great skill of doing that. We saw Donald Trump do that in America some years ago. I don't know if he can pull that off again. But at it the looks moment, like he's doing some he, sort of a job. He's yeah. extremely popular at the moment. So... Um, I'm always quite interested in very populist people who uh, take nations with them on a journey. Uh, we've we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen all over the world, really, at times. Um, but I don't think we've got anyone at the moment. And I think it can be dangerous when you get certain people like Nigel Farage, who twists and turns. One minute is a true conservative, and he and he said to me the other week that the reason why he's not in the Conservative Party because the Conservative Party is no longer conservative. So I can understand where he's coming from on that, but I mean, is he really a conservative with true conservative values after some of the things he's said in the past? So I'm not so sure really. Um, so sometimes populist people can be detrimental to the welfare of the nation. Do you think he's got a chance of getting back in? Who? Boris Johnson. No, I think that ship, that ship sailed now. I don't think... Uh, even though I've said it on TV before now about Boris, we've not seen the back of Boris yet. Uh, I, I'll, I'll retract that statement and I'll say now say I think we've seen the back of Boris.